everyone, it's Jennifer Eggel here with Elia. We're with Mid-Atlantic Dance Classic and Elia is going to talk to us today about practice shoes. Thank you, Jennifer. Hello, everybody. My name is Elia and I've been selling shoes for the last 10 years, traveling across the country, helping people figure out what is the best fit for uh, their fit for their fit, feet. Wow, interesting. English is fun. Uh, so today we're going to talk about practice shoes, the staple uh, type of a shoe for anybody who takes ballroom or country dancing seriously. Uh, let's get right into it. Here we have four types of practice shoes. Which one's your favorite, Jennifer? I'm trying to, you know, on this end here, these are cute. Okay, the snow leopard with a red sole. Let's show it to people real quick. So here is the shoe itself. It is a basic closed off shoe with a shank that is super short. It ends right there. The rest of it is just a metal wire that bends back to keep the structure, but ultimately the purpose of it is to have a range of motion. So you can point your foot if you need to and just have maneuverability. Now the sole is suede, so you would not be wearing this on the pavement or anywhere else other than the dance floor. How is a dance shoe supposed to fit? How's a practice shoe supposed to fit? You might wonder. You want a little bit of space in the front. You don't want it tight. Um, the reason why is that most of our feet, most of our feet, uh, most people's feet swell as they dance. So the blood rushes to the foot after continuous exertion and the foot sort of gets poofy, right? It gets bigger. So that's why the little extra space is there or some people like to wear socks or stockings, that would also be something to consider. You do not want a tight practice shoe because ultimately half an hour into your dancing, you will be in pain. So that's a good question, Ilya. You mentioned socks. So do people generally wear socks with these shoes or do they just barefoot put your practice shoes on? Most people just don't wear anything, just slip it right on. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a fancy guy from Montauk, you know those loafers? Yeah. Um, but here's something I really wanted to say. All of the shoes are completely identical. The only thing that differs is the material. So this here is beige leather, same structure, same last, same range of motion, black leather, red lips, snow leopard. So what does that mean? It means you're gonna get the same functionality and you can modernize or tweak your look any way you want. I can make it look like a cowboy shoe if you want. For the, the leather, are, are these for aeration or is that decoration, the little dots? It's decoration. Mm -hmm. There's no holes in here. It's okay. a solid chunk. Yeah, so what Jennifer's referring to is these look like they're perforated, but really it's just little holes in the leather, but they don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And what is the general heel height on practice shoes? Great. Uh, the general heel height is four centimeters, which is about an inch and a half. Uh, it can also go down to three and a half centimeters for people who don't like the height, or if you're short or need more uh, excitement in your life, you can go up to four and a half centimeters, <laughs> which is about four inches. Uh, wait, what am I saying? Four inches, two inches. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, those are some tall no, shoes. No, 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 no. So these are all lady style. So tell us about the gentleman style that you brought over. Okay. Thank you. So this is a really basic shoe, same concept, short shank, metal wire, range of motion, flexibility. The only thing that really differs here is the size, the width of the last, because men tend to have um, a more massive foot, and the fact that the heel is just two centimeters or about an inch high. Of course, we do have men's um, shoes that look like women's practice shoes, but that's more for Latin and rhythm dancing, which I don't think exists in country, right? Oh, we do rhythm, yeah. Okay, we so. We Latin, but we do the rhythm, the cha-cha. <laughs> All right. Coastling. But generally, we, um, I would say that our boots have a heel on them, um, but most gentlemen prefer the lower, smooth look, especially for practice, too. Sounds good. It's easier cool. on the feet, so. Okay, the last question I have for you, Ilya, is what does the FYE on your hat mean? <laughs> Is that for public consumption? Is profanity allowed? Oh, no! We're going to be on Facebook! <laughs> okay, well, the first word is bad, uh -huh. and the second one is your excuses. Mm -hmm. It's a mentality that I adapted uh, around my business, around my customer service, 
around my health. Uh, F your excuses is is just my way of living life. There, there, there's a story, and then there are facts. I can't be a victim and a winner at the same time, so I wear this as a reminder when I look in the mirror to be the best version of myself at all times. That's it. That's great. I that's hope, a great message, I yeah. Hope, I hope that's not too much. No, that's not too much, <laughs> no. So, well, thank you. I appreciate your time, Ilya. Everybody, feel free to click on the links in the bottom. I'll put all the information for his lovely shoes. You can look at his catalog online, and you can send him a message if you have any questions. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Jennifer.